Thank you everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you have a wonderful day today. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut a long twisted turban using a lacquer fabric. I'm using this fabric to cut it out. You can see it's a stretchy fabric. The first thing I'll be doing here is to take the necessary measurement on the pattern paper before placing it on the fabric to cut it out. So, to take the roundness of the edge, because you have to know the measurement of the roundness of the edge before cutting anything, then the length of the cap too is necessary. So, the length of the cap will be using, you can use 30 inches, you can use 40 inches, it depends on how full you want, how big you want the tumble count to be. So let me use 13 inches. Then the roundness of the edge here is 11 inches. Then I'll be adding one inch to it. This one inch is not the sewing allowance. It's just that I'll be holding this one inch at the center of the turban. So from here now to this place, this is what we are working on. Ignore this line. This is this is 11 inches, the actual length plus 1 inch. So that makes it 12 inches. You can see this is 12 inches. So this is where we are working. So let me rule it out. This is now the line, the length of 13 inches to this area. And this is the wideness of 12 inches. Now the initial wideness was 11 inches. Then we added 1 inch to it to make it 12 inches. To make it 12 inches so from here you're going to make a curve to this area you can see and that is what i've done here so the next thing to do here is just to cut it out so now this is after cutting it out so this is now the cap you can see this is the circumference of the edge and this is the length of the cap. You can see this is the roundness of the edge and this is the length of the cap. So is this particular pattern they be using they are going to place on the fabric to cut out this shape. Then if you're talking about long twisted turban, what we need we need a long fabric as long as you can achieve on your fabric. The, but the wideness that we need here is just four inches, including the seam allowance. You can see. So, this is the wideness they're going to place on your fabric and, uh, and cut out any length that you can achieve. Because we're going to twist the, you're going to, you're going to cut this into in three places. They're going to twist the three of them together. That's what that is what is going to make it a long twisted turban. So this is the first one, the first cutting. I place this on the fabric to cut it out. This is the first cutting. The second one is going to be with this. And I told you it's as long as you can achieve on the fabric. And this is what I'm done here. You can see I cut it out. You can see how long this is. So just make sure it is long enough for it to round the head. You can see. So you're going to fold this into two and stitch. Then we're going to turn it to the right side. Then we're going to take the three together. Then we're going to twist it. So I'm going to show you all that as I'm doing it. Then I cut out four inches again. The widest is four inches. Then I'll be folding it into two this way. So, since the roundness of the head is 22 inches, that means the half of this is going to be four to 11 inches. But here, we're not going to do that. We'll be using 15 inches. We're adding 4 inches to it for the one that is going to cross the other one. So, it has to be long. So, let me say from this place to this place, we have our 15 inches. Adding, so, we're adding 15 inches to it to make it... So by adding 4 inches to it to make it 15 inches, so here is it. 
15 inches and the actual length is 40, is 11 inches so you're going to come to the actual length here and notch this area 11 inches notch where 11 inches is so these are 11 inches so from this 11 inches you slant it down to this area like this make a slant from here like we slant it down to this area so you can see you can see the way we slant it down to 11 to 15 inches so we are done with the first one so the second one is going to fold the way you folded the first one like this Then take the length. Here yeah, we're making use of 17 inches. Here. Yeah. So it is 2 inches longer than the first one. 17 inches is uh, 17 inches is then I'm going to cut it out. So this is now our 17 inches. Then they're going to come to the actual length of 11 inches. This is where the 11 inches in then we notch. So this is where the 11 inches is. So from here now, you're going to make a slant cut to this edge. Now, this is what is going to overlap each other. So the first one was this. And the second one is now this. So we're going to do that on the cap. So I'm going to show you how it's going to be. So welcome back. This is the joining of the taping. The taping at the band at the front, the cross band at the front. This is the joining of the cross band at the front. The longer one will come first. When we are showing on the machine, start from the longest one. Place the longest one at the first, that that one of 17 inches. Place it here, then it's going to hang here. You can see, but make sure you know we start the um, slant from the center. Then you go to make sure the slant starts from the center also. Yeah, this is the center where we notch. Then you you start it from this center. Then you make it end at this edge here. So start with the longest one, which is this. You can see. Then after sewing it to reach this area where it ends, then you bring the second one that is not as long as the first one. That's that one of 15 inches then you start you place it on it then make sure it's um where you start the start from it's at the center also so you place it on the center then you start sewing it like this then you end it here also so any excess that you mean here just make sure you you trim it out so that is what it's going to give so that is how you're going to give it the cut part of the um the turban you can see you can see now so the next one is the four inches that have been folded into two then we stitch it then we turn it to the right side you can see it now this is after stitching it then we turn it at the right side, and then i stitch them together you can see so the next thing we're going to do here is to is to weave it we're going to weave it so you can twist it like this you can see this is how we're going to twist it until it reaches the last stage here so let me go and do that and show you the finishing oh welcome back here the finished work so far this is after twisting it As you can see, so let me turn to the right, right side for you to see. So you can see now. So at this area now, at the wrong side of the cap, if you want to do it now, you're going to fold it this way. Then you tack it. Then you're going to tack it. So it will form this way at the you can see at the right side when you tack it this is going to be at the right side just use your needle and thread to just tack it once or twice and that is all about the long twisted turban